Hey there, this is the review for Flashback Friday 6, so I will do my best to uh, make it quick and make it informative, that way we can help you out. So if you see a problem like this that says evaluate, there are no variables, no letters, all you have to do is make sure to put it directly into your calculator, but you have to make sure that it looks exactly like what you see there. So you have to make sure that you've got everything lining up. Okay, and finally we've got plus 13. So if you look at that, one third times five cubed minus nine squared plus 13, you type that directly into your calculator and that equals 26.3 and that three repeats over and over and over and over again. Okay, so just remember, if all you see is numbers and the term evaluate, put it straight into your calculator. Okay, that's all you have to do for that one. All right, this one says when X is 5 and Y is 12. So the first thing you do is type that in. X equals 5. Go to your next line. Y equals 12. And then it says which expression equals 33? So that's what we're looking for. So let's type each answer choice in until we get one that equals 33. So I'm gonna start by typing 3y minus x. That's 31, so that's not it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight that and then backspace so that I don't erase too much. So now let's try b, xy, minus 4y. That gives me 12. That's not what we want. So let's highlight in backspace. So let's try C. Negative 2x plus 2 times y plus 8. That gives me 22. So I better, I hope D is the answer. Let's delete that and go to x squared plus, now there's parentheses, so make sure to put them there, y minus 4, close parentheses, and that gave us 33. So in this case, b is our answer. But make sure whenever you get something like this, just to put this on one line, put y equals 12 on another, and then just try each expression until you get to 33. Okay, so let's see what comes up next. All right, that's the end of the first video, and we'll be back in a little bit with more.